Hi, I'm Jory with Sales Rabbit, and today we're going to talk about data grid AI uh, for solar companies. So when I log into the app, this is the first thing I see this little dashboard. I'm going to click over into Sales Hub, and I'm going to see that that little blue dot is my GPS location. I'm just going to go into one of these neighborhoods, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, circle this neighborhood off and, uh, and assign it to myself. So now that I've created the territory, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and start filling the information in about the people that live in the homes. And notice how you've got a little triangle on every house. Notice how there's a number inside the triangle. The number is their propensity to buy solar anywhere from 0 to 10. And so if you look at this 1.0 over here, that means they have a 1% or a 10% chance of buying solar. Whereas if we look at this 9.0, they have a 90% chance of buying solar. We have over 600 points of data about every house in the US. And we take um, solar clients who have purchased solar and we compare them to other every other household in the US and we can gauge their propensity to buy solar. And so when we touch on that house, uh, we see who lives in the house, Hillary and Christopher Roller. We see their credit, would they have anywhere from a 670 to a 739 credit score? We know they own the house. We know the house was built in 2010 to 2014. We know they've lived there for six or seven years. We can see how much the home is worth, what kind of income they make. Information like this, this is all included in Data Grid AI. And then we just say, hey, we talked to Chris and he wasn't interested, so we just touch NI and move on to the next house. They have an 85% chance of buying solar. Jason and Michelle, notice how there's a phone number on there. Uh, we provide all that information. We went ahead and scheduled an appointment with them. And so uh, we're with data grid AI, we have we are we are helping the um, our clients that are solar companies try to understand uh, which areas to work first. And so on a, as a manager, I can filter data grid AI onto the map and I can start to see which areas I want to work with first. Um, and I'm going to change my map view here to the street view just so I can see these numbers a little better. But you can notice how in this area right here we have a 3.6 out of 10. So in other words, a 36% chance of buying solar in that area. Whereas over here in this area, I have a 6.8 uh, out of 10 chance. So I have a 68% chance. So as a manager, I'm going to start over in this area first and maybe leave this area to last. And when I touch the area, we see how many homes are in the area. There's almost 5,000 homes. And when I zoom in here, um, it's going to, it's going to uh, break these areas up into even smaller areas. And uh, notice how now I've got an area of 6.1 here, and I've got 559 homes in that area. And so I've got an average credit score of 724, average square footage of the homes, things like that. And now I can go ahead and create a territory in that area and assign it to myself again and now I'm going to start to see those uh, those data grid pins pop through and now I now I can go ahead and go and work that area and I'm going to change my Mac back to the hybrid so I can see the homes you can see I've got a 9.0 here Gary and Rebecca live in that home uh, you know the neighbors is uh, Lloyd and Karen Moffat see a phone number there um, that's how data grid AI works.